Hey y'all, Lisa and Jimmy with Fondus Camping. We admin a Facebook page that is called Keystone Fusion Owners Group. And one of our members, Kathy Schroeder, had asked if we could do a video showing how the Happy Jack bed could be positioned so that it hung vertical instead of horizontal. We use our garage for a golf cart, so we don't need the extra height, but a lot of people use it for side-by-sides and things that are taller. They don't need the width, they need the height. So today, Jimmy's going to demonstrate how to drop those beds down so that they are vertical instead of horizontal. Here we go. So you're going to start by removing the pins. While he does that, there's also this um, lock operation up here. You want to be sure all of these are locked. There's one on each side and then on the front and the back. So whenever you're moving the beds from a vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical, you need to be sure those are locked in place. That's what keeps it all as one big piece. So now that he's removed the pins, Jimmy's gonna pull toward the opposite side and lift at the same time. And sometimes they come down. You gotta be a little taller. And then there it drops it down. Uh, at that point, you would just put the pin back in this hole up here. So that when you're driving, it doesn't bounce around. Uh, and there's also a pin on the back side. And you would just continue by doing the same thing with the other side. So Jimmy's gonna go ahead and put it back in the position we had it. And then we're gonna drop it down just for anybody that's interested in seeing how that works. We're gonna drop it down and fold it up so that it would be a sofa on either side. While he's putting the pins back in, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock all of these because once we get them down, we're gonna need to um, have them unlocked. You're also gonna to wanna to have the feet down for the, um, on this one for the extra support when you've got somebody sitting there. If you were using this, bringing this down as a bed, you would bring all four of these legs down. Since we're gonna fold it up into a sofa, we're gonna wake this one up, just bring that one down. It's not real fast, but it gets the job done. So again, if we were gonna use this as a bed, we'd have brought all four of the legs down. We could have just left the whole thing locked. And when it, you know, when those feet hit the ground, it's going to stop. Um, and then you've got a queen size bed. We're just going to show you how to then transition from that into a sofa. So at this point, it's very simple. You just fold these up. You have cup holders, whether you want them or not. If you don't want to use them, you can fold them up into the seat. Um, this is nice when you have the deck down. You can sit in here and, and look out. Or if you need extra room when you're trying to eat, if there's more than just the two of you or you don't want to sit on the sofa, um, there's a table. It's up top in the bunk right now, so I can't easily get to it. But it would sit here, so you could see six, um, up to six people and eat at the table. And then when you're ready to turn it back into a bed or just get it up out of the way for transport, same procedure in reverse, fold both sides down, raise up. So now that we're here again, I'm just going to lock these in place. Be sure to put the legs up because when you're not paying attention and you run into one, it will leave a... Uh, they will hit you in the head pretty bad. Nice goose egg for you. Hope this video was helpful to someone besides Kathy. But Kathy, thanks again for subscribing to our Facebook page. If you're not already a subscriber on our YouTube page, please subscribe and remember to click the bell. And as always, keep an eye out for us on the road. You never know where you might find us camping. See y'all next time.